Hello, party people! <laughs> I love that energy, sir. I love it. Thanks. Uh, so we're just going to come at you um, with a quick voiceover video because something magical happened the other day. I would actually call this photo mag- magical, Sarah. I know you necessarily okay. don't. I know what you really want to call it, and I'm going to say it. Okay. Iconic. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a little bit of both. We're, <laughs> we're going to calm down the iconic use because um, we overdo it sometimes. We have a video about that never, coming out later. Never. But it's magical. It's iconic. It's glorious. Um, and I'm putting it on the screen as she's first... looking at a dictionary right now. <laughs> Not anywhere. So it's on the screen right now. As you can see, it is Caitlin Ford and Leo Walty or Valti, and they have had some type of declaration um, of of sorts. Oh, um, independence. So if you see yeah, the caption, really. the caption is act normal. Act normal. Act normal. Okay, I'm mad because you they st- stole yeah. that from me. <laughs> we Sarah always say that. I literally that. always say that. Especially like, when she sees the whenever, cops. Whenever um, the police drive by, I'm like, act normal. Because yeah. I don't want to get well, pulled over. And... Caitlin and Leah stole that from you. Uh, but, I mean, this is magical because they are in the same exact spot to where I would say Beth and Dan. Um, yeah, that's, what is that, Big Ben back there? No, I think it's the London Bridge. I don't know. That's where Beth and Dan actually declared their love. Okay, so we're going to kind of see what this means. See what's going on with these couples because something is going on. I mean, first of all, we had Leah and Jordan had that kind of picture that kind of clarified things because they were kind of on, you know, people weren't exactly sure where they stood. Well, some people, other people were steadfast that they were always a couple and they never had like a rough patch. Then we had... Beth and Dan, which they've been, you know, an alleged couple for a while, a long time. A lot of things have happened. They've posted a lot of pictures. Leah and Caitlin were one of those couples that, that you know, we're going to kind of, you know, take a step back. We're going to say, we're going to say where this kind of began. So Leah had been on the Arsenal squad for a while and she mm-hmm. was on it. She was doing great. Then Caitlin joined the squad right before lockdown happened. Yeah. So she joined the squad. So when she moved to the UK, she, you know, you don't know a lot of people. You're not a lot of friends with people. So from what I have put together, what people have told me, Leah invited Caitlin to live with her. So she had somebody with her during lockdown. So, you know, they wanted. Whoa. Yeah. So I thought that was very sweet of Leah. So if you remember, I don't know if you remember, you do remember when they started living together, they did a whole bunch of TikToks together. We reacted yeah, to the remember. TikTok video. They were working out together. They were really forming a special friendship. You know what I mean? And at the time, you don't say so yourself. there was whispers about, hey, what does this mean? You know, there are two um, women who have been in relationships with past women, you know, whether they're lesbian or bi or whatever. It's no, kind of like, doesn't mean they're in a exactly. Relationship, that's exactly lesbian what I'm, friends are a thing. That's exactly. I don't want to say, okay, to me, it, if it was a new thing, I don't want to say, you don't want to automatically assume two lesbians are going to automatically start dating. So there wasn't any proof to say they were dating or just friends, you know. So they, friends, but this is a big thing. Leah then invited Caitlin to go to Switzerland with her um, to stay with her family or, wow. you know, in Switzerland, because Leah's from Switzerland. So she that's said, cool. yeah. And so she said, Caitlin, come on. So they t- took pictures together. And I think that's kind of when people said, okay, is something going on? Um, but like you said, you know, are they just friends or getting to know each other? You can be friends with another person who might be, you know, a lesbian. Yeah, it's a it's a thing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, but we do know that Leah ended a long term relationship with um, her name was Tabby. She was a player in the Arsenal as well. Yo, I know a Tab. Tab. Oh, we know that a lesbian. Was... That's a Tab. Yeah. yeah how funny. Shout out to you, Tab. <laughs> You know who you are. <laughs> so, her, well, that's her. That's like her nickname, Tabby. I forget her real name, but so. Okay, she's not a cat. <laughs> Tabby got. So they had just ended a relationship last year. So kind of, you know, soon before Caitlin moved in. Um, so you know, sometimes when you've just ended a relationship, you know, you don't want to get right back into a relationship. Some people do, but a lot of people don't want to. You know what I mean? They've been in a relationship for a long time. What do you think? I like your assessment. Yeah. I like so, your thinking of this because it's funny. All throughout Because I'm this, not thinking these things. You're not, well, I think these things. That's why you and I, I are good together. to think. <laughs> so all throughout the summer, they had, you know, a lot of pictures taken together. And I'll put some on the screen. They had uh, a lot of pictures taken together. And even people in the comment section be like, hey, what do you think about Leah and Caitlin? And I go, yeah, you know, I, I don't really think much of it just because they're kind of new best friends. Um, until now, honestly, until now. And you could even say, oh, this Are they co- kissing in this picture? No, but I think they, <laughs> they infer 
you know, act normal, just like this picture was just like Dan and Beth's, which was an obvious love picture. Um, and so I think it's fun. So what I take from this photo is they're kind of they're kind of standing awkwardly and it's like act normal. Like they're I don't know. Like it's almost sarcasm. Act normal but Well yeah. But but this is this is why people were shook basically. They have that po- photo. But then Katie McCabe, she um she had a I comment. I did see her comment, yeah. yeah. So she had a comment and her comment was couples day out. Whoa, what? <laughs> what? Uh you guys can't see this, but I just passed out in my chair. I've just this fallen is, on the ground. This I've is just the first melted time you're into lava. This? this is the first time you're okay. seeing it. I saw someone else post something. So, okay, I did not see that comment. Wow. So what so, do you think now? I just died and went to heaven. And <laughs> it's official. That's it's it. a thing. Yeah. So Katie McCabe, whether or not they were they were planning on saying that, they could have deleted the comment, but they think it's funny too because it's that's what they're saying. Couples day out, and it doesn't you know, look like sometimes it's 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 your friends who. I'm not saying out you, but who who rouse you that, about it? Your friends they normalize it. They're kind of like, "Hey, couples, you guys are so cute," yeah, yeah. or whatever. And it's not even a thing. It's like oh, totally kind of playing around. Yeah, like you guys if, are a cute couple, you guys like, are a couple. If yeah. my if my friends did that, like totally cool. It's fine, you know. Yeah, but um, if you were a celebrity a and people were in, you know, it's a sensitive subject. Would your friends? like out you not out, as a relationship not necessarily gay but as no i would say do that and shake the internet oh so you'd want you'd want the, attention. the internet because Let i know, know that right i know that when they posted this picture then even um beth i'll put it on the screen beth goes most normal i've seen you too and it has like a crying okay, face that's the one i saw okay that most normal seen you and then sam curve says okay you guys like okay you guys and i also heard a rumor and i don't know if this is if this is true that caitlin used to date sam kerr and i don't rumors are not yeah and i know they're friends they'll still hang out together but i mean i don't know if that's true i mean i'm looking at other comments and a lot of people say i mean this is confirmation i nothing would lead me to believe that this was not confirmation that they are officially together based on that just that one comment. Yeah. Yeah. Kate McCabe's, yeah, yeah. Because, like, how I was saying, the, you know, over the summer, if they're just working out, having fun, doing TikToks, like you said, lesbians can be friends. They can be best friends. And I didn't want to jump to conclusions right away because, you know, a lot of these other couples, there is years and years and years of things that would lead you to believe that they're a couple. Yeah. Like, people, um, their family members commenting on each other's uh, posts, um, them going to certain football games that, you know, they weren't necessarily involved with. But this couple is so new that it's kind of like, this is a, this is now the official word. Wait, I'm so dumb. I just realized couples, them, and... Dan and Beth. Oh my God, that's what <laughs> couples means. Hi guys, I'm new to life. Um, Couples stay out. My brain ain't working yeah. through props, so Katie is so freaking cheeky. I love it. Yeah. So okay, that's what that means. Yes. Okay. okay so let's talk that's about <laughs> what this also means. There is a lot of love in the air, and a lot of these public declarations just in the last few weeks since Jordan's birthday. There's been three public declarations. I think. What's going on? Though there must be like some full moon action or like a solar eclipse. I think no. it has something to do with maybe the pandemic. People are really yeah. honestly finding out. I love this person. I, I tomorrow. Who knows about it tomorrow? You know, a lot of the soccer players are saying you don't know about tomorrow. You don't know what's going to go on. Why not just True. live your life, not be hiding things? And when I mean hiding, I don't mean hiding like their love for each other. I mean just right. don't try to don't you know make it seem. You guys, we well, might not say it from the public. Yeah, I guess, like, we're not going to say sure it. Their but friends all know. Ex- family, exactly, whatever. exactly, and that's what I mean when I don't mean hide it. But kind of like this is us. We're not going to say it, but this is you know exactly what's going on, um, because they're like, I love this person. You know what I mean? Because I mean, three people in the last couple weeks. Another theory is they know that we know. they know we know they know that we know they know they know. Um, they they um stop by our channel and they're like hey yo i want to be featured on sarah sarah's channel that was- so i'm definitely gonna put out some picture you know that, that's that is the last possible and- thing that would ever happen <laughs> i mean that's not 
Real? Okay. okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, Let us know. You never know. You never know. <laughs> um, but so, I mean, the love is in the air. I think it's the pandemic. I think people are just feeling really close to each other right now. Honestly, I think people are just feeling super close. You know, people are just wanting to get married. People are just saying. Super close, which is funny because you have socially distanced. Ah! Irony, y'all. The irony. And I will say, even Lucy Bronze is kind of getting into this. So we all know Wands, Lucy Bronze, and um, Carol Walsh. So. Dang it, I thought she was single. There isn't JK. much interaction between them on social media. They're one of the couples that are pretty together but pretty private still you know mm. what i mean um but the other day carol walsh posted this picture okay nice Looking good like that out and then lucy bronze had a comment which she doesn't do much but she said i mean she does maybe a couple times she goes geez fire so Okay, that doesn't mean anything. But I mean, if for a couple that's usually pretty under the radar, they don't have like a lot of pictures together, you know, cutesy pictures together. She just made a comment, bro. But it's something. You will say it's something. Oh, next thing you know, next <laughs> post, they're going to be married with three <laughs> kids. Been, sir, hey, guys, point. I had three kids. Um, <laughs> I didn't you know about it. Circusy. But, you, know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. But I would say there's something going on. Love is in the air. These these couples love each other. They want to be so wild. together. I can't they don't. They just. And I don't. Like I always get torn. Do they want the fans talking about them? Do they not want them talking about them? I feel like Do they want to be featured on Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> I, feel, I don't know. Right? Who does? But I feel like not. they're like. What's the downside at this point? Kind of thing. I guess the downside would be if they broke up, then they are still gonna have to hear about it in like the comments on social media. But I think if they're in love, well, then... Well, how do you think um, Jen and Ben... Exactly. Brad. Yeah. Who all the, talking about? Yeah, all the other couples deal with it. But <laughs> that's what you sell movies with. You sell movies with public relationships. You don't really sell soccer with public... I mean, may, maybe helps in some scenarios, but you could... You know, it doesn't sell. But Can I will... Can we talk yeah. about um, Holland Taylor and Sarah Paulson? Oh, Sarah's obsessed with Holland Taylor and Sarah Paulson. That yeah. couple is so hot. They Can love we them. double date? With them? We are not cool enough. Do you realize? You have to be cool, cool, cool. We're about the bottom yeah. coolness. Holland's pretty cool. Oh, she's so cool. Look how cute they're. Act normal. They're just standing there. So they look so, look, I like her little hoodie and her hat. Act normal. Nothing's, like, nothing's going on here. Act cool, everyone. Nothing's going on. Yeah. But that Katie McCabe. We got McCabe. Katie McCabe. Yes, thank you, Katie. And she's dating, um, um, Rosha, Risha, Little John. So they should have, like, a quadruple date what do you guys think i mean we're excited to see this i just like i said to have people being able to see these couples together i think it's a special thing and i think that um it's beautiful they're beautiful the london bridge can't wait till everyone gets the vaccine and what? we're back to normal are they okay are they getting married uh, it's too soon to tell too soon. what their tiktoks were so freaking cute do you remember their tiktoks Kate, yeah. um, caitlin is the tiktok queen as we remember yeah she had the best pump up the jam questions comments down below we love seeing the love people leon walty like she's on the swiss team i was doing a little research people like love i mean they love caitlin of course but leah i'm gonna turn you into swiss cheese <gasps> i hate swiss cheese that's why i'm gonna turn you into oh, it oh no i don't even like cheese question call, do you like cheese i'm the cheese questions comments down below what do you think what do you think about um katie's statement i mean it's official is love in the air do you think it's because of the pandemic do you iconic really is <laughs> the <words> band. okay <laughs> questions comments down below what do you guys think um yeah we will talk to you guys later i love you <laughs> have a good night bye <laughs>